Hi friends, Jennifer here, aka Baby Cakes. Welcome to another edition of Chalking with Baby Cakes, a Monday night edition. Um, coming to you live from my basement. <laughs> so it's Monday. We made it through the holiday weekend. I'm gonna take my watch off here real quick. Actually, it's kind of warm in here. I might take, I might go ahead and take this outer shirt off because it's it's a little bit warmer in here than I was expecting. Probably because I have socks on, and when I have socks on and my feet get warm, you know, because your feet are like your temperature regulators. I don't know. Do any of you have issues with that? When your feet get hot, the rest of you gets hot? It's kind of where I'm at right now. Anyways, welcome to another edition of Chalking with Baby Cakes. Since you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. I was going to say I'm not going to talk a lot tonight, but I've decided maybe I need to talk some tonight just because. I don't know, right? So I have three little uh, projects that I plan on doing. I have this little house um, that I'm going to do Love Grows Best in little houses just like this with two hearts on the top. I've got this little 5 by 7 palette frame um, that I took in. It was one of those ones. You, did you see the post I did yesterday? that had um, where I was repainting surfaces. Well, this is one of those. So I'm gonna do the, the Wake Pray Slay on this one. It's gonna be super cute. And then I've got this cute little shelf sitter. Um, if I can get this guy open. I'm trying to get this guy open first. I should just do this ahead of time. Because obviously I didn't leave a pair of scissors in here. Here what happens when you know I do this stuff I forget and leave stuff places where it doesn't belong and then I go and I demolish the package and all the things right so is it going to be a short week for you guys I know since it's it's the holiday it's a the second holiday week right it'll be a short week for me for sure okay so my last project is going to be this uh, queen bee and then be happy. And I'm actually going to kind of do it on two sides. So on the one side, I'm going to have the honeycomb with the bee and the queen bee with the crown. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the be happy, kind of the same thing, but it, um, but being the be happy. And this was one, this was a, one of those, uh, surfaces that I went ahead and I sanded down. I did not repaint this one because I thought it looked kind of cool after I sanded it down um, without repainting it. So I just kind of left it like that. So when you guys don't like everything that I make, which is fine because I don't like everything I make, to be completely honest with you, um, I can just remake it. That's the whole beauty of doing the chalking. If it's on a non-porous surface, like a chalkboard, um, or a window or anything like that, you can go ahead and wash it right off. Now, sometimes there is a little bit of ghosting depending on what type of non-porous surface you have it on and whether you prepped it beforehand. So if you get like one of the cheaper boards, um, and this is no knock on it at all whatsoever, but if you do get a cheaper type board and you, um, and you put the paste on there, Sometimes when uh, you pull the paint, when you, when you take, <laughs> whew, I need to think here. Sometimes when you take the design off, there'll be a little bit of ghosting on the, on the bottom of it. So you'll have to be careful on that. All right. So I'm going off the screen here because I have the water bath over, over yonder. And I do need to, since I'm going to do this guy, <clears throat> double-sided. I do need to wash the stencil um, as I get this done because a couple of them I am going to reuse on there. So I wanted to get that done and then I have this cute handy dandy little heat gun that I will use to dry this really good and then I'll let it sit for a few minutes while I do um, one of these other ones. Now, when you're doing layers, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the bottom layer is dry really good um, before you uh, put a stencil down over it to chalk over it. Um, if you don't let it dry, what will happen is, is when you pull the stencil back up, 
the, the layered stencil, uh, some of that chalk paste will come off with it. And that's never a good thing. We, we don't want that to happen. And I didn't say it, guys. Well, are you proud of me about my layers? Now, this is the first time I used a stencil because, as you saw at the beginning of the live, I had issues getting it out of the little uh, package that it was in. So what I'm doing is I'm fuzzing it, and that just means that I'm putting a little bit of fuzz on the back of it. So when I put it down on the surface, it doesn't, it sticks, but it doesn't stick too much, so it's easier to pull off. Uh, some of the stencils, when they have been, uh, when they're brand new, <coughs> they can be very, 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 very overly sticky, and they can be really difficult to get off of the bottom, off of your surface. Now, as you see here, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm squeegeeing this down, and that's to get any air bubbles out of here. Um, you do not... Uh, which color did I want to do? We're gonna we're gonna try something here. We'll see if this works or not. Um, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get all the air bubbles out of your um, the silk screen portion of it, and that will help it. So your okay, good. So the um, The paste doesn't bleed underneath. Sorry guys, I just, I was losing my words there for a minute. I guess that's what happens when you get older, right? You lose your words. So I'm doing the word, the words, the wake, pray, slay in black. And since I'm doing a couple different colors on this one, what am I gonna do? For those of you who have watched me a couple times, I am going to do what I call the paste and peel method. So I'm going to paste this. All the excess goes right back in the jar. And you want your paste to be a nice yogurt-like consistency. Um, if it's a little bit too dry, what you do is you squirt a little bit of water. I have my water bottle right, right there. Um, you don't want to use, they want you to use um, a distilled water versus tap water. So this way you don't get any impurities in your in your paste. Um, if you do get the impurities in your paste, what can happen is your paste can get can get moldy. And you don't want your paste to get moldy because then you end up having to throw it away. I have had to throw away quite a few jars um, of paste that got moldy or paste that got too too dry. Um, some of my paste lately has been drying a lot quicker than I was expecting. Um, so I've had to throw them away because I just wasn't able to revive them quick enough. All right, so with this, I am going to do, this is going to be an interesting one. So I'm going to do two colors of brown on this arrow. So the top part, the feathers, the, the arrow part and the feathers down here at the bottom, I'm going to do in this darker brown. If you see this, this paste is actually very, um, it's very runny. It's more runny than the yogurt like consistency. So I'm not, shoot, I don't, I think I did that backwards. I wanted to do it the other way, but here I am doing it this way, so it'll work. Actually, I'll just kind of make it a con conglomeration into all of it. So because this, the darker paste is a little bit runnier than the normal paste would be, I'm not as worried about pulling it up as quickly as I would be a drier paste. Now, sometimes you can get away with that. If your paste is a little runnier than normal, you don't have to pull your stencil up right away. You can do a, a little bit more, um, but if your paste is drier, you definitely want to pull it up right away. If you do not pull it up right away, what can happen is your paste will dry on the silk screen portion of it, and then when you pull it up, the paste will pull up with it, and you don't want that to happen. And there we go. So this one is actually completely done. Let me make sure you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? Isn't that cute? So this one's completely done. So I'm actually going to put this over to the side 
so this way I don't get anything else on it. And I'm just going to throw that in the in the water bath, so this way I don't have to worry about. But I don't worry about. Um, I'm not going to worry about cleaning that one right away because I'm not going to reuse that one. All right, so so we're going to put the B on here. And then we're going to put queen B, and then that guy. So, all right. So I'm going to put the B on here, and let me get some of this stuff out of the way. I'll put the B on there, and then I'll go over and wash the B, because, again, I'm going to put the B on the other side. Um, so because I'm going to put the B on the other side, I want to get it washed and dried. And I'm going to do this kind of two-toned. So I've got this bright marigold yellow color that I'm going to do the B in. But then I'm going to kind of go over it a little bit with my finger in this gold, or it's not gold. I wanted to get the gold, but I forgot to grab it. So we use what I got. I'm going to go over it. Do I have a gold over here? Let me look real quick. I don't have all my pastes over here with me, so, and I don't. So I'm going to go over it. This is the copper shimmer. So I'm going to kind of just go over it with my finger a little bit, just to kind of give it a little bit of a pizzazz, you could say. I'm going to pull it up, and there we got the... Ooh. Let me see if I can turn that light around so then this way you can actually see when I do that without messing the light up. If you guys could see my setup here, you see how kind of janky it is. There we go. How's that? So I'm going to go wash uh, the, the, the bee off. So this way I can use it again here in just a little bit to do the second side. So when I do wash the stencils, what I like to do is I wash them and then I put, I go ahead and I dab off all the excess water. You don't want water pulling on the back of it because if the water does pull on the back of your stencil, what'll happen is it'll lose its stickiness and you don't want that to happen. I promise, you really don't. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this bead dried up a little bit. And then I'm going to put the crown down. And I think I'm just going to do the crown in a brown color. I'm going to do it in a dark brown color, but I'm not going to use the dark brown that I used with the, with the arrow. I'm going to use a different dark brown because the brown that I used, the darker brown that I used with the arrow was actually uh, a little bit too runny and it kind of did bleed underneath the stencil a little bit which was fine on the arrow, it made it look good. But with this crown, I don't think the running would look good. So I don't want to do that. Well, it's still kind of, it still kind of ran out underneath because I'll be honest, that crown has been used quite a few times. I've used this, this uh, queen bee stencil quite a few times. So how cute is that? So we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and dry this crown up. So then this way I can put the queen bee on it. And then once I do that, I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to do the Love Grows Best and Little Houses just like this. And then we're going to do the flip side of this. So we're going to be done here pretty quick. This, the one thing that I, I, if I can tell you anything, is chalking is really quick and easy. It's a lot of fun. The hardest part, really, is choosing what you want to make. Because I got a lot of stencils, guys. And if you're ever interested in having your own chalking class, I would love to chit chat with you about it. I call them chalk and tots for those of you who are new to watching me. I call them chalk and tots and uh, I can come to you. You gather about five people and I'll come to you. They range anywhere from $20 to a hundred and some odd dollars. And it all depends on whether you bring your own surface or if you choose one of my surfaces. 
And if you choose one of my surfaces, the surfaces I have are surfaces I purchased from one of the companies. So there's the queen bee. So I'm gonna put this one to the side and I'm gonna do this little house over here. I wanna get the red. There we go. So that's why they're a little bit more expensive. Um, some of the surfaces, some of these surfaces that I make, um, the different things that I make, the little different designs and everything. Um, some of them I make myself. I have Eric cut out for me. Some of them I purchase from the company. And other ones, actually, I will take and um, I like to go and to different thrift stores or, or Eric, places like that. And I like to just go and uh, buy stuff that I can refurbish, that I can upcycle. Um, I've got a couple of uh, picture frames over there. So I have, if you, if you could turn around and see behind me, or in front of me actually, behind you, <laughs> what you'll see is there's a bed back there, because this is a bedroom, and I have all kinds of surfaces on the bed um, back behind, back behind you. <laughs> I have all kinds of surfaces back over there um, that have stencils on them waiting to be chopped. So one of the things, since I'm trying to do a lot better of going live and and uh, chalking with you because actually I really enjoy it and um, it gets you it gets you so you can see what I'm doing right and then I can make new inventory. So one of the things I've been trying to do is I'm trying to go ahead and plan out what I'm going to make each month. So this way, each month I already have it planned out. It's laying on the bed, which I'm not, I don't have all of January laid out, but I've got, depending on how often I'm able to go live, and that really does depend on my work schedule. Um, I have quite a bit that ready to go live. Um, I don't have everything, but I do have quite a bit planned out so I can go live with you guys, which I'm pretty excited about. And again, if you have any questions about how I do this or what I use and all the questions, um, the different colors of the stencils that I use and everything, um, just drop them below and I'll do my best to answer them, I promise. The other thing, guys, so have you guys seen on Wednesday, so I will be going live Wednesday. However, I will not be chalking with you on Wednesday. Do you know why I won't be chalking with you on Wednesday, but I'll be going live? Well, Wednesday is my end of year live sale. So it's going to be my first annual because I actually just started doing live sales this year, guys. So uh, I think it was after I got back from England. After I got back from England, I did my first live sale in April. And you guys showed up in force, and thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, so I did my first live sale in April, and I've been doing them every month ever since. So this Wednesday, I am going to be doing an end-of-year live sale, and I've got a bunch of Christmas items picked out and some other everyday stuff, and it's all going to be discounted at um, different, different rates. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys. I do not discount my stuff like 50% or anything like that. And the reason being I don't discount it that much. I'm looking for which, which type of squeegee I want to use. Okay. But that requires me to figure out exactly how I'm going to do this. So the reason I don't discount it 50% or so um, is because honestly, I do like to try to keep my prices as low as possible to make all my stuff affordable for you guys. And I know it seems like a lot of my stuff is quite pricey. Um, but you have to realize it does, I do have a, a lot of time invested in it. Yes, it might only take me a couple of minutes. Hey, Jen, to make something like this. 
but I've got to buy all the stencils. I got to buy the surfaces or make the surfaces. Um, so there's a lot that kind of goes into this. Um, you know, the cleanup, the, all the things. So when I put my prices out there of how much I charge for everything, I try to take that all into consideration and then still give you as low of a price as I can while, while I still can make a profit. Because, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, it is a business and I do want to make a profit so I can quit my full-time job and make this a full-time job. So that's why my prices may seem a little pricey to you. Um, so when I do my end of year blowout, you're not, or, and when I do some of my other sales, you're not going to see like 50% discount. Um, you will see some discounts, um, 20, maybe 30% on some items. Um, but it's not going to be the like 50% discount because I still do need to recoup some of my costs on this. So I just, I just felt compelled to kind of throw that out there. about why my prices are the way they are. All right, we're almost done guys, I promise. I don't know. I think since, I think this B is gonna go ahead and be this, this color. And then I'll go over it with the yellow. And this is that the copper shimmer color. And then I'll go over it with the yellow with my finger. So I'll kind of do it opposite of what I did the flip side on. And then one more little thing. So Wednesday night, seven o'clock central time. Join me for my end of year blowout. I promise I'll try to get through everything fast on it, um, but because I do have 50 to 60 items, it might take a little bit of time. And you can shop the replay for, I think I have it up for like, I'll have it up for like 48 hours, you can shop the replay. And then everything will go back. All my Christmas stuff will be packed up that's not sold and ready for you next year. Does anybody have any good plans for our New Year's? I'm not sure what we're doing for New Year's this year. We typically have a gathering, but there's some stuff going on, so I don't know how that's all gonna work this year. And I think I just kinda wanna go down to my lake house. My lake house is like my happy place. And I, I figured it out. So do you guys have a place that you like to go where there's just kind of like no commotion? It's just woosah. I never thought about it, but the lake house is actually that for me because it's not cluttered. So there's not a lot of stuff there. I don't have all the stuff that like I have here at the house. It doesn't get cluttered because there's just not a lot in there. And so... It's kind of like my Woosaw place and I haven't been there. I think we went, I haven't, we haven't been there since November. So we went in November. So there's the second side of it. So you have Queen Bee on one side and then Be Happy on the other. And I'll get these sealed and then they'll be ready for purchase. I'll put them out on my website after I get pictures taken and get them sealed. So yeah, so the lake house is my Woosaw place. Hey, Serena, how are you doing? You on your winter break for the next month and a half? Two months? Because you're not coming back to fe till February? Look at you go, girl. I hope you get a lot of stuff done. I hope you get a lot of chalking done during that time frame. That'd be cool. Well, that's all I got. Just three quick projects for you guys tonight. Um, I am going to try to come on tomorrow night. I have a couple of things over on, like I said, on the bed which is where all my chalking stuff is kind of laid out right now. I have a couple of things that um, I think are going to be kind of cool. Um, I think I've got like one Valentine's Day thing and, you know, I got some picture frames that I took and I painted the outside of them. And they're just, they're not the huge picture frames that I normally do, but they're some of the smaller ones. 
Um, so I got them and um, I'm going to do some chalking on some canvases and then attach them to the canvases. So, but so stay tuned tomorrow night. I'll be back on live. I don't know, between five and six o'clock, probably same time. And then on Wednesday, join me at seven o'clock central time for my end of year live sale. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week weekend. <laughs> Wonderful rest of your week. Happy Monday, right? And I will uh, chat with you later. Bye-bye, guys.